Converting decimals into fractions is something we actually worked with back in section 4.1. Um, but here we're readdressing it because in all the decimals we converted to fractions in section 4.1, none of the fractions required any reducing. And here we're going to allow for the fact that perhaps when you convert your decimal into a fraction you might have to do some reducing. So remember the strategy we used back in 4.1. We said that what we're going to do is say the decimal properly and then let that dictate what fraction comes out. All right. So uh, how do you say 0 0.84 properly? Well it would be 84 84 and since the 4 is in the hundredths place you'd say it's 84 hundredths. But this is also the name of a fraction, right? It's the name of this fraction right here, 84 over 100. And we again, we did this back in 4.1, but now what we have is clearly a situation where we need to do some reducing because both 84 and 100 have at least a common factor of 2 and maybe something bigger because both are even. All right, so um, you might look at these and recognize that 4 goes into both of them, and it does, um, but suppose you only recognize that, hey, they're even, so 2 goes into both, that's fine. Divide top and bottom by 2, and 84 divided by 2, you might do a little bit of long division over on the side here. You end up with 42, of course. So we have 42 on top and 50 on bottom, but these are both even still, so I'm going to divide by 2 one more time. And we know that 50 divided by 2 is 25, and then 42 divided by 2 is going to give us 21. So our answer here is 21 25ths. The only factors of 5 are, are besides 1 and 25, obviously, is 5, and 5 does not go into 21. So we know this is reduced. And so you'd write the decimal 0 0.84 as 21 25ths as a fraction. All right, so let's take a look at this other situation. We have 5.475. Um, again, let's do the same uh, thing we did in the last one. Let's say the decimal number properly. So this would be 5 and 475 and it's 475, the 5 is in the thousandths place, so this is thousandths. Okay, so 5 and, okay, so 5, because it's followed by the word and, 5 is the whole part, which we can see from the decimal number. So what we're going to have here is a mixed number. So it's 5 and 475 thousandths. Now the top number ends in 5 and the bottom number ends in 0, so of course 5 goes into both of these, so I can divide both top and bottom by 5. Okay, so for 475, I'm just going to do a little bit of long division here. And by the way, many of you may have recognized that 25 goes into both numbers, and if you recognize that, great, you only have one bout of division to do. But what I get up on top here is 95. And then on bottom, I got to take 1,000 divided by 5. That's something I feel comfortable doing in my head um, because 5 goes into 10 twice, so 5 would go into 1,200 times. So basically 5 goes into 10 two times, but there's two more zeros here, so I'll just add those on. Now we still have the top number ending in 5, the bottom number ending in 0, so I can divide by 5 again. Okay. And so 
200 divided by 5, again, 5 goes into 20 four times, but then there's one more zero, so 200 divided by 5 is 40. And then I'll go ahead and just do my long division here. 5 goes into 9 once, and 5 goes into 45 9 times, so we have a 19 on top. So our reduced answer here is 19 fortieths.